So yes, that's going quite well. That looks quite ominous. I quite like the look of that. I think I said that before, actually. But it's cool. Cool bit of imagery. And we've got a a whole bunch of story well, after. Well, well, if it isn't Desmond Pierce, you're into man these days. You've come to tell me that you've finally chosen our cause. The cause of murdering and torturing people? I'll pass. Can I kill him now? Wait a second. I'm guessing that Desmond has a good reason to visit us. Am I right? Are you looking to do a little deal with the devil? If you let Kristen live, I'll bring you the one who's been a thorn in your side. I'll bring you Muriel. I'm interested. But tell me, how are you going to find him with this? Where did you get that? It really is his blood. You guarantee your safety, and it's yours. I'll even find Muriel for you if that's what it takes. Oh, oh temptation. It always was a powerful weapon in my arsenal. You are a fast learner, Desmond. Okay. Okay, I am completely charmed. Such a bargain. How could I refuse? I won't give it to you until you promise Kristen safety. Idiot! You think you can make demands in my realm? Saw? Yes. Go find that bitch immediately. You can do what you like with her. No! Have you forgotten where you are? Here, I am God. I don't make deals with anybody, even with a would-be savior and destroyer. Without the blood, you'll never get Muriel. I'll get the vial from your dead body. We've already met my brother Belial. Let me introduce you to my other brother. Set a nail. Well, he's a bit of a twat, isn't he? Oh, hello. It's a big snake. It is literally a big snake. Look at that. That is hilarious. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's like a uh, a huge uh, load of you know demonic folklore about uh, the, the big snake here. Most of which I probably don't even know. Oh, here we go. We have ourselves... Oi, cheeky. Cheeky boy. There we go. Rip their throat out as, uh, as you should to uh, demon boys. Bam. And now your usual spot. There we go. Yeah. Right. Oh, hello. Let's take your your soul out. Oh my god, that actually <laughs> that knocked him away. I can't believe that. I actually thought that would cancel my um Hello. I actually thought that would cancel my attack for some reason. I really do wanna you know own this soundtrack. It's pretty damn good. Oh. Oh hello. Why have I never heard of Saturn Ale uh, before? In a uh, in hell hellish lore. That's a bit interesting to me. There's probably still a whole bunch I still don't know. But you know, it's a giant snake. So of course it's gonna be pretty cool. And hopefully it won't be the uh the giant snake like the one in fucking Oto o uh, Otogi. Otogi, Otogi, Otoji. I don't even know how you say that. That from software smash 'em up, which is really quite good. You know, until it 
until you go into the shit levels. And it gets pretty terrible. <laughs> but overall, it's a really great game. Whoa! Oh, oh no, oh, oh no. Oh no! The frame rate dropped so low there when everything just died. <laughs> that, oh. I feel like I missed another one on Muriel's notes. Hi. How you doing? Wowee. That sounds very wet. A lot of uh, blood just trickling in. You know, as you do. Um, uh, can we go over there? No. Fair enough. I thought that there would be uh, something over there, but apparently not. Uh, yeah, just more combat. Or so it would appear. Yep. There we go. It just seems like very arena-ish, doesn't it? A bam, a bam, a bam. And now, douche. There we go. Okay. Let's get this out. Demon combo. Here we go. And now a little bit of this. Owie. Man, that is very sudden. Oi, oi. How dare they? How dare the how dare the indeed? Oh dear. Like you. You I'm gonna absolutely annihilate. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty hard to stun these guys. Pretty hard indeed. Bam, bam. Aha! Can't get me. That's it, run into the void. Run into the uh, endless black abyss. Go and get both. Cheeky, cheeky sword. Getting out of that, how dare you? You don't even deserve a cool death. This is what you deserve. Oh, hello. What? Wait, wait. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh. And that was apparently the boss. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. That was a bit disappointing. Hi. Stop me. I don't want to. The saw has tracked your friends. You have to hurry. I can grant you safe passage. To Miami? Not exactly. Hurry up. You've got more, some more friends. Look at that. But why would she be helping me? Like, what? What? Uh, I mean, the only thing I remember about her character is that she has a nice ass. That's basically it. Save and destroy. Oh, okay, yeah, this has to be. Walk up Golg Golgotha? I mean, with a. Oh. Inside and all be well. Do you really need to involve him? Yes. There is no other way. I actually can't move around properly here. It's just kind of like running straight forward. It's like controlling. Oh. No, no, no! Desmond, help me! Uh, I could, lady. Uh, uh, well, I can't, but you know. Yeah, it's very, uh. Sort of reminding me of, uh. Killer 7. How you run, run across, uh. A straight line, basically. Oh? What a cool dude. No. Well, he just fucked up, didn't he? Very pleasant. You're shit at this game. Haha. 
Yeah, I can't really take this story very seriously because the, the game is so jank. Lord, he still delays the decision. He may be another one. <laughs> That's amazing. But you know, maybe the the uh, the books this game is based off of is pretty good. I still need to look into that. I am kind of interested in it. Because you know, anything to do with demons is pretty cool. Oh, there we go. And animation, my favorite. Surprise, surprise. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. Seems a bit happy about that, doesn't he? It's a pretty interesting looking area. It feels very dreamlike. Which I've always quite liked in games. I like it I like it when things are very dreamlike. You're here. Oh. Well. It's literally a uh, Doom 2 now. It better not end here. You better not end here. You better not end there. You better give me an ending boss fight right now, game. Don't you fucking do it. Give me an ending boss fight right now. I want to kick Lucifer in the ass. Nice. Lovely. Wonderful. I came here to fight with him. If I win, you let me and my friends go. If I lose, kill us. Very nice, savior and destroyer. But you wasted your breath. You cannot talk your way out of this. It's a challenge. Do you accept it? Or would you prefer to hide behind your henchmen's backs? I have already defeated you. That was then. This is now. Come on, let's fight. All these executors can be our witnesses. The Star. We all serve here under your command. Prove you're worthy of our loyalty. The Savior and Destroyer is challenging you. Accept. Okay, Savior. Let's dance. Oh. Yeah, it's a pretty cool design. He's a very big lad. What are you gonna do? Wow, we. Yeah, he's got a pretty cool design. I quite like how how uh, how he looks. I was really quite afraid that the game would actually end there as well. I would have been very annoyed. Because, you know, a lot of games just kind of love to do that. Here we go, Cumble. Boosh, 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 boosh. Owie, owie, owie. Fair enough, I guess. For you. So he's going to charge another attack. There we go. Oh, look at, look at this crowd we've got. Oh, you're invincible, why? Oh, okay. Owie, owie, owie. All of a sudden it's uh, Chaos Firestorm. I love that attack in Dark Souls. Not really. It's kind of a pain in the ass, really. Well, boosh, 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 boosh. Boosh. Actually, how, how. Let me have a look at that. That actually does quite a bit of damage, honestly. I'm, uh, I'm kind of impressed. 
I won't lie. Here we go. Not bad at all. And you... Die. Apparently. Apparently he dies. Oh, this doesn't do anything. Weird. Huh. How come that doesn't do anything? Well, it's pretty good that I can actually lock on now without... You know. <laughs> and, and now that I know that the camera just has to be tweaked by myself, that's not too bad at all. Well. The, uh, the spears on that are a little bit dodgy. But I, I, I'm guessing it's just sort of a... Maybe a straight up... You know, as long as... As long as enemies are sort of in range, it doesn't really matter where the spears go. Which I don't mind, but... Ow. That was a uh, poor play on my part. Right, you're going to do your slash. Uh, boosh. Boosh. That's it, Desmond. Get out of the way. What are you going to do now? Ah, uh, okay. Makes sense, I suppose. He just loves uh, throwing dirt up in the air. Is this what you expect from demons? They're filthy. Here we go. Demon combo cannon. That doesn't actually seem to do... Oh no, it does do damage. It's like a very, very minor amount. Very minor. Go. Get the flat. Okay, he's a bit easy. But he keeps getting me every time I do the slam. Uh, this is. Uh, I'm, I'm apparently not welcome to the jam. I'm a little bit saddened, saddened by that. Oh, wow, wait, look at that. Lingering hitbox, but that's okay. This is what you deserve. Oh wait, I did the did the wrong combo. Ow! Oh god. Wow, we. <laughs> like oh shit, I'm out of there. Don't tell me you're going to end here, game. There has to be an effort. There has to be... Okay. Hell in heaven wanted to use me in a war I didn't even know existed. For that, they destroyed my life. To them, we are the lamb between a roaring lion and a howling wolf. This struggle isn't about people at all, and it's not about good or evil for mankind, so I will not be a weapon for either side. I will find Muriel, the only executor who ever stood up to Lucifer. And with his help, I'll take back the life that was stolen from me. And every creature responsible will pay the highest price. Yeah. I, um... I don't think this will be continued, sadly. That is some sequel baiting stuff. Ah yeah, Equilibrium by... I'm not even going to pronounce that, but there we go. Okay, yeah. I'm going to have a look into that book series because with how entertaining this game has been, I want to read that. I really do want to read that because I've always quite liked um, stories about demons, angels, heaven, hell. You know, it's just sort of a, an interest... It's an interesting topic. So, oh yes, yeah, by a whole Polish team and everything. At least I'm guessing this is Polish. Maybe somewhere around that sort of area of the U of uh, the the EU, Europe. But um, my opinions of this game, it's fun. It is janky as hell. It has issues, many, many, many issues, many issues. But you know. I only really hated it around fighting the angels, because the angels suck. They're such terrible enemies. 
fucking awful. But once we got past them and we were back to fighting the demons and stuff like that, it picked itself back up again. That's good. That is good. And, you know, it got fun again. The combat, once I, once I understood its um, flaws, what I was doing wrong and what the game was doing wrong, I, I was enjoying it a hell of a lot more than I thought I would. It it has it has heart. It has it has soul. You know, it feels like a a small team of developers just wanted to make something fun. You know? And you know, they wanted to bring this story that um of the original author's works into a video game form. Because if the the books are as action packed as the game, that makes sense. It's, it was certainly an interesting game. And yeah, I am glad I played through it. And it sucks that we probably won't ever get a second game because apparently this sold very, very, very poorly. It has a lot of issues. And it kind, it's kind of, you know, a little bit heart-wrenching, you know? Because they, a lot of people did put a lot of hard work into this. But it feels like it got rushed out the door when it wasn't ready. Which is probably probably why it was such a a mess, technically. It, but we, we did get that funny face on the first stream, at least. No, second. No, yeah, it is the first stream. Yeah. It was... You know, I, I kind of want to see this continue. If the developers kept the hammy story but improved a lot on the combat. If there is going to be a Devil's Hunt 2, there probably won't, but if there is, improve the combat as much as you can. The combat needs a lot of a lot of polish and the exploration aspect when you're not in combat as well. That also needs a lot of polish. You know, like proper levels you can explore and do platforming. You have like some aerial combos and more interesting enemy types stuff like that you know but but definitely fo keep focusing on the skills because once I got used to them like switching up the styles and seeing what I could do with my abilities that was cool that was really cool like you know using void to like hold people get like a load of enemies in a straight line then using an unholy to heal up and then do some um, crowd control stuff and go to the executor to do some ranged attacks and uh, some ground slams or like doom grenades and stuff. That was cool! You know? I can actually see this working very well in maybe a, a uh, MMO setting. Having combat like that in, in an MMO game, that would be cool. That would be really cool. And it definitely made Devil's Hunt stand out a lot more than other beat em ups. So I can appreciate that. It was very, it was very different, and of course, you know the graphics were—they were very mouldy, very dodgy, <laughs> quite hilarious. But you know, I can appreciate that. Very Eurojank, which uh, I like. I like a lot. And yeah, it's just those fucking angels. <laughs> They were such overpowered pricks. That was the only thing that just... They made me moody and that was unfair to the game because... You know, playing it on the third stream, I was enjoying it again. I calmed down, I sort of went back in with a fresh mind. Enjoyed it, loved it. Yes, I can... I can definitely see myself playing this again. Absolutely. That was fun. If I want more jank, yeah, Devil's Hunt, yeah, worth it, definitely worth it. But um, this is going to do for Devil's Hunt.